Are you afraid to go over there, lads? <laughs> there's a woman has exhaust. <laughs> you know, if there's one thing on earth that makes me depressed, oh, no. and you're sitting and waiting on the wife getting dressed. <laughs> well, I swear to watch her, it'd drive you insane. Now, some of her antics, I'll try and explain. You see, we were asked out to this fancy do, and I'm standing here, shining from me head to me shoe. I've shampooed, and I've shaved, and I've had a wee shower. All done, you might say in a third of an hour. <laughs> but Maggie, she's different, I'll have you to know. And I can't think of a word that's slower than slow. <laughs> For she not have a shower in case she might slide. So the bath it is filled and radox applied. <laughs> well, she'll slap and she'll splat. She'll sing and she'll laugh. They got yet swear there was a crocodile let loose in our bat. <laughs> and she rubs and she scrubs. And yawn here she got set. Is tied back with a scarf in case it gets wet. <laughs> then she dries herself well with four towels or more. <laughs> and sure the powder she uses is like snow on the floor. <laughs> and I believe she's a magician. Cause from this wee box with a flap, our Maggie can produce a full chemist shop. <laughs> well, there's creams and there's lotions and there's colours so bright and wee dainty paintbrushes, boys the a size. <laughs> and there's lipstick and polish and bottles of spray and wee things to pull out those hairs that turn grey. <laughs> she makes boys as a terror as she thickly applies that stuff called mascara. <laughs> <laughs> In the back of her lungs are perfumed and scented are a bad luck to the day when that stuff was invented. <laughs> For how did the old folks do in the days that's gone by when there was no such thing as hair spray or shampoo? And the faces she makes we got him lost. I hear spray our day. I must lick it in ready. Hair spray our day. And are you which? Spray our day. And the price of one little bottle. By God, it's a sight. Sure, a man did buy a full case of stout. <laughs> well, at least her makeup is on, and she's powdered her nose. But the worst bit of all is when she's picking her clothes. <laughs> For there's no saying in her that I'm sure will compare to a woman saying, I've got nothing to wear. <laughs> For in front of the wardrobe, so she twists and she hinges, and so the bloody thing is sitting stuck to the hinges. <laughs> With dresses all sizes and colours so gay, some meant for the sunshine or cold winter's day. So with one hand in her hinge and one in her chin, she examines the contents that are hanging within. Then the clanging of hangers rings loud in me head as a dozen or so outfits are flung on the bed. <laughs> well, I sit and say nothing, for I know that it's best. I'm sitting ready, she's the one that's not dressed. <laughs> then, in front of the mirror, she'll stand and she'll grin. The first dress tried on, as she pulls herself in. <laughs> well, she'll pivot, she'll smile, she'll pose and she'll sway. Now, that doesn't look right. Then she throws it away. <laughs> the next one the same, she tries it, then she throws. Still complaining, I've got no bloody clothes. <laughs> well, I try to ignore her, 
Dosie's hard now to miss. <laughs> then my attention she demands. Do I look all right in this? <laughs> oh, Maggie, it's perfect as my instant reply. And may God forgive me if I've told her a lie. <laughs> Well, you know, this waiting and watching sure to drive you to tears. I've been watching her antics now this 20 odd years. And you know, the more that I watch her, I think she's not wise. For when she's picking her clothes, does she not think of her size? <laughs> Is that I'm easily depressed, or is this the dumb thing that every woman gets blessed? Yeah. Anyway, she has me all confused. I'm in a terrible state. The do was at nine, it's now ten, and we are late. <laughs>